Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. And today we are doing a creation of an object. So we've not actually done uh, one of these in quite a while. I think the last one was the Goblin object where I made a whole video where I made a replica of the artist's impression of that object. But yeah, today we are doing the recently uh, like Earth-like confirmed planet Ross 128b. So yeah, this was a um, confirmed planet, I believe, an Earth-size exoplanet which is close to a red dwarf star, obviously Ross 128. And now this star is actually already in the game, so I don't actually need to make the star. So if I just search Ross, it should be one of the first... Yeah, look, 128B is already in the game, apparently. <laughs> it's right there. Um, yeah, I'm going to be making a custom one of those. Um, yeah, Ross 128 is right there. But I don't know if it's... Yeah, 128, there we go. I almost got mixed up there with one of the other ones. But that's Ross 128, so we already have the star. There's the red dwarf there. So... Now I just need to actually make a custom one. So let's see what the game puts the object as first. So here is um, the object the game gives you. It's just a random generated object. But does that have water on it? Oh, it is water. It does have water. Okay. But they've put way too much water on it by the looks of it. Because this planet is meant to be cold. Like around 0 degrees, I believe. So yeah, 168 degrees. That's not correct. So we're definitely not going to be using that. So yeah, I've actually got a special template to use for this as well. So spe special thanks to Mr. Mislot for actually making this. Um, but whereabouts is it? It's um, it's definitely called cream something. Um, I don't know what it was called. Uh, what, pale cream. Was it that one? I'm not sure. Let me just quickly look at the name of the object. It was. Oh no, it was pale cream. Okay, so it is this one. All right. So yeah, this is our um, object. Let's just place it. Uh, Around here, it doesn't really matter where I put it for now, because I'm not making a system, I'm literally just making the object. So yeah, I've got this special, uh, it's pale yellow. Um, yes, we've got this special uh, cream sort of coloured object here, which I want to use, because um, if anyone has seen the concept art for this object, they um, give it a creamish white atmosphere with a brownish, like, white surface. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing here as well. So yeah, there it is. All right, so let me just obviously quickly name it. So Ross... And I know it's no capitals, it's just one capital letter. So was 128B, like that. So there we go, we've got the um, name all done. Right, now I've also I made a few notes as well. So it's about 1.3 Earths of mass. And also thanks to the guys in Discord as well, because they actually told me this. So it's 1.35 Earth masses. So there we go, so there we are. And then the radius is 8,000, around 8,500. So we'll go with 8,500. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to lock that so the mass is correct. So 1.5, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, 1.5. Yeah, what? No, 1.35. That was a bit of a goof. All right, so there we go. 1.35, 8,500. Perfect. All right, and then it's meant to be around minus two degrees. So we'll just go zero. All right, so there is that. So that is all done already. We've also got our star as well. So there we go. Just click play. Okay, so that's all the clouds gone. That's fine. So now it's getting colder again. Okay, so yeah, we don't we don't care about that. So let's just quickly put it to zero degrees. I'm going to delete the stars well because that's really not necessary. But it is in the game, so that's quite cool. So there we go. Because this was found, I, think, I believe the planet was found quite a while ago, but it was only confirmed recently that this was an Earth like like a confirmed Earth like object. So yeah, there's that. All right. So if I'm just going to quickly take a peek at the concept art here so just to get a thing so it's actually very very similar to what pluto looks like for some reason the concept art for this it's a you know, like we were like i said it's already got a white atmosphere creamish white atmosphere and then it's got brown and then like a creamish sort of surface so we're gonna go with the mid elevation of a brown sort of color so something like that that looks good so maybe a little lighter so we've got a good brown there then we need a sort of creamish sort of color as well there we go i'm definitely going to change the surface texture as well uh high elevation what can i put for high elevation i may go with white honestly since it's meant to be an earth-like planet it must have colder areas it's also a tidy locked planet as well so i'm going to go over white high elevation so i'm going to put that all the way there so we've got a bit of extra color in there all right, that is looking good. I'm actually going to spawn a Pluto in as well, just to, um, there we go, Pluto ATM, that's the custom Pluto. So let's quickly, oh no, pause, we don't want it moving. So yeah, there's Pluto. So we need to sort of match the colours on that, because that's what the concept art is going for. So it's already looking quite similar, the um, colour scheme, which is good. So yeah, there's Pluto. So we've already got that, so I guess we just need to make this colour a little more white. There we go, that's looking better. That's very, very similar colour scheme to Pluto there, so we can get rid of that. Right, so there we are. 
Right, now we need to put the temperature to, well, the temperature is already correct. So I'm going to change the surface texture to something I like now. Oh, actually, I do like that. I'm going to go on flashlight mode as well, just to uh, check it as well. Also, guys, should we do an object competition for this object as well? Let me know down below, because next episode, we've got Uranus. So, yeah, we've got that um, done. And then the episode after will probably be Terraform Planets. But what the episode after, should we do a Ross 128B? Let me know in the comments. Actually, I could do a poll for that, because um, now I have access to that feature as well. So, I could do that. Not a fan of that texture at all. That one. I think I already had that one pop up. I wish I want them to add more textures like this, because... I've seen like all of them hundreds of times. We need uh, some more textures. Because they did add, they did add an update where there was a few more, but they've not added more in years. Mm. I mean that does look alright. There's too much pale cream on this side. We need a bit more. We need some brown covering like the whole area. So there we go. I really like the white cream atmosphere on this side. It looks really cool. So there we go. Come on. Okay, that's looking better. Okay, I may roll. With, I'm gonna roll with that. That's looking good. So if we go back to realistic. Now I just need to add some water to it. So instead of it being blue, it needs to be more of a white color. That's why I'm putting it around uh, zero degrees. Okay, so there we are. So it gives it the white water because um, the concept art shows it with white water. And I want to make it very similar to the concept art for it. So that is exactly what I'll do. So that is looking uh, pretty fine indeed as well. So there it is there. So if anyone's wondering why it's not green, even though it's Earth-like, doesn't necessarily mean it may have life on it. So, yeah, there's that. All right, I'm really liking the way that looks, actually. That does look really cool. It reminds me of one of my Pascal sort of um, planets. Let me quickly get a comparison with that. I think it's one of the uh, KO ones. Yeah, this one here, Kokor. It looks very, very similar in size as well, but they are different. But this one actually has a bit of green on it, but they're quite similar. So I kind of already had one. They're literally the same size. 8439, this one's 85. Very, very close. And they're the same texture as well. Look at that. Wow. What are the chances of that? So, that's definitely how you make an object look completely different. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Very nice. All right. So, now I just need to decide do I want more or less water? So, okay. I'm definitely going to say less. But yeah, there we go. Ross 128B. That is looking very fine, if you ask me. I don't think there's any climate mode on this we could add. Maybe, maybe an update for that would be a climate mode. Maybe that'd look quite cool. But yeah, that is my Ross 128B thing. I think that's looking pretty nice, I have to say. that The clouds look amazing as well. The white, creamish clouds as well. That's looking very fine. Now, it is tidally locked, so the rotation will just put to zero since we're not orbiting a star. So there we go. So the same face will always face the star, while the other face will we'll see... Uh, the other face will obviously face darkness most of the time. But I'll have this part of the planet facing the star. So we'll put it on zero like that. Then I will save the objects like so. And there we go. So that is my Ross 128B. I'm really liking the way it looks. I think the ro the white water at um, minus 0 0.671 degrees looks really, really cool. The atmosphere fits really well. And obviously the brownish sort of color I think goes really well with the clouds as well. Very, very nice uh, mix of color indeed there. But yeah, that is my Ross 128B, guys. So let me know. What did you think of this um, object down below um, in the comments there? Because um, I will always read them within 24 hours of the video going up. But um, yeah, let me know um, what you think with this. And I'll see if you want to do a, a competition or take part in a competition for this, let me know if we should do a competition video for this object like we did the Goblin. When that came out, we did a comp that was actually the first competition we did. But yeah, if you want me to do that then let me know and yeah that is everything so yeah make sure you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe on the journey to 6,000 subscribers as the sub count has been going up really fast lately guys and it's absolutely amazing so i can't thank you guys enough for that i think we're almost halfway to 6,000, so that is really really cool yeah just a massive thanks indeed because that is absolutely amazing and yeah you guys um have really helped it is absolutely amazing like the the, the likes have been um doing well as well so let's see if we can keep the um the likes up so let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this video because it really really helps the channel out a lot as well guys but yeah that is everything so if you want me to uh if you want this object for yourself then just let me know um by joining my discord server and i can also post it so you guys can use this if you really want it but yeah there is my uh wasp or uh, ross 128 and also if you want the star it's already in the game but yeah there it is so um yeah that is it guys so massive thanks for watching today's video and yeah i will see you in the next one so make sure you all have a great day guys goodbye